kind of an example of the importance of back legs. I, we have an unknown, an unnamed client who's a lawyer who had another unnamed client who was a well-known taxi dater. <laughs> For years, we had done a very, very good job of getting this particular lawyer, page one position, one for tax evasion, Milwaukee, tax attorney, Milwaukee, tax lawyers, Milwaukee. He said, I want to be national. I, I want to come up in Google when people type tax attorney. I want to come up num page one, position one, regardless of, of where they are. Well, he managed to uh, land Wesley Snipes as a client I said, okay, what we need to do is we need, we need to make sure that you're letting everybody know that you've got Wesley Snipes as your client. He said, you know, we're probably going to lose this case, and it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> you need to do is get the word out, because this is going to be something that's going to get a whole lot of traction. Within 24 hours of them making sure that they've released the press releases and that they're covering them, suddenly we wake up in position one, page one on Google, tax attorney, our client is up there. It's because every newspaper in the country, local, national newspaper, picked up these articles and started, to, you know, some of them pasted them in just as they were submitted, others covered as a, as a story. And so what happened is as the viral buzz grew, what happened is all the backlinks and all the mentions of, of his website ended up catapulting him into page one, position one. Wesley Snipes is in jail, it's a little while longer. Now he's back to just page one, position one for tax attorney to Milwaukee, uh, but he's, he's not, not doing it nationally, so he's going to have to work getting another client. <laughs> Social media optimization. When you do those kinds of content things, like writing a blog and doing your press releases, you know, make sure that you not only put them on your site, but also make sure that they're in places where people also are looking for content to share, content to like, content to learn from. Uh, LinkedIn has undergone a fairly major change within the past week to actually become a whole lot more like Facebook in what you can do. But the cool thing about it is that LinkedIn still allows you to be able to build your own personal credibility, have the people on your team within your organization to be able to build that credibility as well. And LinkedIn is, uh, has added an endorsement uh, tool to their site where when people would ask me to write an endorsement for them, I'd have to write a paragraph and I didn't want to do that. What it does now is that they've made it a whole lot easier now that they're actually making suggestions and endorsing people as a matter of simply clicking on their area of specialty with a plus. And, and so what ends up happening is you as, as the LinkedIn profile owner, you can see uh, you know how many people like you and are endorsing you for various things that, that, that you do. So a lot of people are coming to that looking for credibility, and because of the tools that are available, you can take all the links to all of your blogs and you can post them at LinkedIn. So as people are doing searches for the things that you as your company, as your website do, that people really like because you do them well, all of those blogs can be posted in LinkedIn. And as we know, because of that pesky little no-follow thing, uh, even though you do get some search engine juice from tweets and from Facebook, LinkedIn still seems to give you more, more bang for the buck. And so to learn about uh, using profiles with LinkedIn to be able to improve your SEO, there's a link on that that you can uh, grab a little bit later. The other thing that you can do for social media optimization is find some websites that feature thought leaders in your space. Uh, so for instance, you know, because we're experts in social media, uh, the folks at Social Media Today, Brian Solis and some of the other people there, Anytime I write a blog, I can submit it to them and I know that it's going to be uh, published the very next day by loading up my blog posts that are posted there with linkable keywords that link back to my site. Once again, that gives me the ability to be able to get those powerful backlinks that come from that. And then I also post them on our Facebook page. Uh, I, I post them on, on Twitter in hopes that someone like a Jeremiah Aoyang or an Augie Ray will find something that I've written that I posted on Twitter, will then retweet that. Google knows if people like that are retweeting it, it must be worthwhile, and so people really, really like it, and so that's something that also will end up helping you. And then we also talked about LinkedIn. You say, well, I don't have time to be able to post to all these social media sites. So there's a tool called Hootsuite, and I know it, it gets a little bit of a bad rap, and, and my search engine team told me that you need to be a little bit careful with Hootsuite because of the way that it, it handles the redirects. 
but if it's the only tool that you have uh, available to you, one of the cool things about Hootsuite is that you can take your blog post and your content curator and your posting links to articles that will help establish your credibility even though they're written by someone else. What you can do is you can take anything that you want to post and you can post it to Twitter and you can post it to Facebook. Uh, both personally and to the fan page. You can post it to Google+, Plus. you can post it to LinkedIn, you can send it to just about any place, and with the Hootlet you can schedule these things so that you can throttle them to go out over time or go for time release. And you have the ability to be able to see how many click-throughs you're getting on, on the, the things that, that you're posting. And so, you know, you, the amazing thing about this is that, as a general rule, I post probably about six or seven tips that help build my credibility every day, schedules so that they go up during the course of the day, and over the, the years that I've been measuring that, I've gotten 90,000 click-throughs uh, back to the things that, that I've tweeted. And Google recognizes that, they appreciate that, and they know that, and so that's how we end up showing up page one, position one, in a lot of the keywords that, uh, that, that we go with. And so I wrote a blog on how to use Hootsuite that you can link to when you do that. One final word about Google Places, Google Local, or Google Plus. Uh, it is that Google Plus looked like it was going to be a contender for dominance in the social media space. It ended up being the graveyard where social media gurus and thought leaders went to go and uh, share their ideas with, every, with each other and not much else. And so Google decided to kind of uh, mosh the places and Google local all together. And so if you have a brick and mortar business that part of the success of your site is going to be to drive people to not only to your site but also to your local establishment, Search engine optimization is going to be an important part of that. Google Plus, Google Local, Google Place is going to be one of those things that you're going to need to learn how to be able to optimize to, to be able to uh, show up high in that. So, bottom line though is that Google is going to continue to get better as our Bing and Yahoo at determining what people really, really like. And what people don't like is black hat stuff. They can see through that. And you know, content is always king, and backlinks are, are very, very powerful. And you can do the black hat stuff all you want. And what's going to happen is Google is going to get better and better at dumping you and reducing your rank for that. What they are going to be looking for is people who understand what their client wants, understand what the people surfing the web want, and will set up their site and set up their social media plans so that people really, really like it, so that Google can really, really like presenting your website from position one, page one in their search engine results. Now where you want to go to uh, see some of the tips that I tweet every day is bit.ly tea guy tips. Uh, my blog is traveraguy.com. The resources, this slide presentation as well as all the other slide presentations that I do are at traveracom front slash resources. And there's our contact information. And I ran a little bit late. Because last night Erica said, she was reviewing my slides and she said, get rid of the bullet points. And I said, I gotta do bullet points because it's gonna keep me from running over. And she said, you gotta get rid of the bullet points. So even though I ran a little bit long, unfortunately, no kittens were killed in the creation of this presentation. Because Rand says every time bullet points show up in a presentation, a kitten dies. <laughs>